What's up, family? I pray you had an incredible week and welcome back to another installment of Manhood Mondays, our weekly devotionals where we focus on the spiritual disciplines that will shape us into godly men. Today, I want to talk to you about the discipline of compassion. You see, compassion is one of those attributes that's embedded in the character of God, but it should also be reflected in the character of God's people. Compassion is the idea of showing grace and favor to someone else. It's when we step into someone's situation and show love and empathy with the whole purpose of walking with them toward healing. I like to say it this way, compassion is love with legs. And the discipline of compassion is showing love, empathy, and grace toward people in every area of our life. And as we talk about compassion, we need to look to the ultimate man, the God man, Jesus Christ. There is no greater example in scripture of what it means to live a life that is filled with compassion and to stay focused on your mission than to look at the life and ministry of Jesus Christ. He makes this amazing statement in Matthew chapter 9, verse 36, that I believe embodies this whole discipline of compassion. And if we look at it, it will help us to live it out each and every day of our life. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to read this statement. I only got one verse for you today, but it's a powerful statement by our Lord and Savior. After we read it, we'll take a look at it, break it down, and seek ways to live it out. Seeing the people, he felt compassion for them because they were distressed and dispirited like sheep without a shepherd. I believe that this statement by Jesus Christ gives us four primary principles about the discipline of compassion. First, compassion begins with seeing. This text opens up by saying that Jesus saw the people. In the midst of Jesus preaching, teaching, and healing, he took a moment to stop and he actually saw the people that he was ministering to. The idea of seeing someone is the idea of acknowledging their dignity and their humanity as you seek to serve them. Family, sometimes in life we can uh, get so caught up in the hustle and bustle of life. We can move so quickly toward our assignment or what we're trying to do in the task at hand that we fail to acknowledge the dignity and humanity of other people. And they become uh, just a problem to solve instead of a people to serve. But this text says it begins with us seeing people. Compassion starts with us seeing. Next, compassion involves feeling. That's right, compassion involves us feeling. You see, Jesus, after he saw the people, the Bible says that he felt compassion. He felt compassion upon them. And this is the idea of an internal acknowledgement of the external circumstances of other people. Jesus saw that they were distressed and they were dispirited, like sheep without a shepherd. These people were hurting and they were hopeless. And when Jesus saw their plight, he saw their circumstances, it gripped his heart. Family, if we're gonna actually show compassion toward other people, it ain't enough just to see them, but we have to feel it. We have to have compassion within our hearts that moves us toward helping other people. Third, compassion involves understanding. Jesus, after he saw, after he felt, he makes a statement of understanding why the people were hurting and hopeless. It says that they were like sheep without a shepherd. Family, as we're demonstrating our compassion toward other people, we need to seek to understand before we seek to be understood. Before we step into the situation, before we offer our opinions, we need to take some time to acknowledge their pain, show compassion, by listening and seeking to understand. Lastly, family, compassion involves responding. That's right, more than anything else, most importantly, we have to respond if we're gonna show compassion toward other people. You see, the good news about the God that we served is that he is so filled with compassion that he left the throne room of heaven, wrapped himself in human flesh, and came down to save humanity from the plight of sinfulness. And the God that stepped into our situation has called us to step into other people's situation and demonstrate compassion toward them. You see, this text ends with Jesus making a statement to his disciples. After he sees the plight of other people, he tells his disciples that the 
Harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. That as I'm going forth to seek to demonstrate compassion toward other people, I'm also calling people along with me to go forth and demonstrate compassion, grace, and mercy toward others. And family, that's what we're called to do as disciples of Jesus Christ. As men of God, we need to step in and demonstrate compassion toward other people because that's the character of our Savior. He would go on to say that we don't have a great high priest who cannot sympathize with us, but instead, Jesus is filled with compassion and he steps in into our lives and demonstrates compassion each and every day. And as men of God, we need to go forth and do the same. So brothers, here's my challenge to you this week. Try to slow down a little bit. Don't move too quickly, but instead actually see and acknowledge the people around you. And as you're acknowledging those people, it may be your wife, it may be your children, maybe your coworkers, but try to process what they're going through and ask God how you can step in and show compassion. And when the Lord reveals it to you, I want you to obey without delay and demonstrate compassion toward other people. That's what we're called to do as men of God, to go forth and demonstrate the compassion of Christ toward others. Well, family, that's it for the discipline of compassion. Let me pray for you. Father in heaven, we just come before you to thank you for the compassion that you demonstrate toward us each and every day. And as we receive your compassion, it's my prayer that we can reflect your compassion and grace toward other people as we seek to be shaped into godly men. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, family, that's a wrap for this installment of Manhood Mondays. I pray that you have an incredible week. And if this has been a blessing to you, let me invite you to like, comment, and share it with another brother. Hope you have a great week. And Lord willing, I'll see you next Monday. God bless.